Hi guys and welcome to a new video today I have Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge with me twice, two different videos, two different ROMs. On the left side we have um, the stock nougat of the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, so the stock ROM. And on the right side we got Lineage OS and today we are basically going to do a app opening speed test on both ROMs and we will basically take a look which ROM is much faster when it comes to the app loading times and yeah so stay tuned for that. So as you can see we have 12 different um, apps on the home screen on both ROMs. As you can see we have a couple of uh, system apps on the home screen like the clock, settings, camera, calendar and so on. And we also have some uh, social, social media apps like Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, YouTube. And we also got two different games here, Subway Surfers and a quite old game called Sticky Row. So we are basically going to take a look which um, ROM is faster in opening these apps. And yeah, so now let's start. So you can see we don't have any apps uh, on the background on both ROMs. So now let's start with the test. So let's start with the clock first, then the settings app, play store, Instagram and so on. So you can see that the um, stock ROM is much faster when it comes to the opening time of some small apps like these social media apps and the Lineage OS ROM is behind of the stock ROM. As you can see the camera opens really fast on the stock ROM but it's really slow in the uh, Lineage OS ROM. Now let's start with Subface Surfers. It loaded first on the stock ROM. And the stock ROM finished with 51 seconds. And Lineage OS also finished with 1 minute and 3 seconds. We can say that the stock ROM is the clear winner. Let's start with the multitasking test. So here we have all the apps which are running on the background. You can see settings, captain storage, nice. Play Store, Captain Storage on both ROMs, nice too. Same for Instagram on both ROMs. Facebook kept on storage, Snapchat too. YouTube kept on storage. The browser kept on storage. But as you can see, the Lineage OS ROM reloaded the camera while the stock ROM didn't. The Lineage OS also reloaded the, ca uh, the calendar app, but it's nice when it comes to the uh, game again, so there isn't any reload on both ROMs. So you can say that TouchWiz is the clear winner again because of these uh, two different reloads on Lineage OS. So this was basically the test. We saw that TouchWiz was the clear winner in both tests. But I also have to say that I'm also a human and I'm not able to do this test 100% um, fair. You know, then I might be a bit slower on Lineage OS, but I'm not quite sure. Um, but we saw that Lineage OS was much, much slower. And Lineage OS also had some animation delays and so on. So we saw that TouchWiz was the clear winner in both tests. So this was basically the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a dislike as always and peace out.